Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, Beyonce's Universe. Welcome all of my new viewers and subscribers. Welcome back all of my existing viewers and subscribers. So Aries, sorry, it was just the commercial plan. So <laughs> I've already pulled some cards for you. It says, give your relationship a chance. So somebody who may not have given this relationship a chance in the past wants to give this relationship a chance. And now they want to express their love to you. They may not have expressed it to you in the past. And we have forgiving and learning. They've forgiven and learned from the situation. They, they are now releasing and healing the past so they can experience more love in their present moments. Um, if this isn't someone from the past trying to, you know, try again and give the relationship a chance and express love, this is you. You've forgiven. You've learned. And in your new relationships, you're going to give your new relationships a chance because you've learned and you're different now and you know how to express your love and you know how to receive love. Or this is your person, your new person, okay? There's a new person coming into your life that will give this relationship a chance. They have went through things and they had to forgive and learn as well. And now they know how to express the love that needs to be shown and expressed as well. I'm going to try to cater to all of you singles and couples. So, let's see what could be going on. Give me any messages from the past, please. Could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra. I just saw the Empress. And, and in this deck, the Empress is actually Oshun. Oshun on the TV. So, any messages about a past person trying to give this relationship a chance with Aries could be a cancer okay they want they want to tell you something that they love you with the king of cups and they're coming back to make things right with you with justice okay they're gonna make a small offer of love because they've been stuck on you with the eight of swords they have been stuck on you yeah the queen of swords they want to come talk and actually, you know, build and make something out of this. So they say, you know what, I want to come back and try this again. I want to try to give this relationship a chance because I didn't give you a chance before. Okay? And it's, it's up to you, Aries, if you want to go back to someone who didn't even want to give you a chance. Not saying that, you know, in any type of way, but damn. This could be you, Aries. Um, Aries is wishing that they gave someone a chance in the past and now they're coming back to try to you know start something up any current energies any current connections that Aries has current relationships that they're in show me current love current love couples or loosely involved areas three of pentacles okay more reaching out more wanting to communicate so aries everybody wants you people from the past your current person and this new person clarify the three of pentacles for their current person the hermit you could be dealing with the virgo aries currently so what is this? They want to they wanna reach out. They want to communicate with you, but they're at a distance. What is this hermit card? There's communication with the Queen of Swords. I don't know how nice it is, though. I don't know how nice it is. Someone is stalking you. That's what it is. This Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Vir Virgo strongly, or this Libra wants to reach out to you, but they're just stalking you right now. They're going through some type of awakening with the hermit. Clarify the Page of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. They haven't let go, but they, they're not going nowhere. They're moving too slow. They haven't let go. They're not open. They're moving too slow, but they're going to stalk you. I think this person is confused on how they feel about you with the Hermit card. This current person. And so that's why they're trying to give this relationship a chance. There's some things that they need to forgive and heal from with the Hermit card. I don't see any expressions of love, though. There's no cups. <clears throat> this person could be a workaholic or you're a workaholic okay so currently this current person may still have some work to do alright any future energies 
future love. Please, future love for Aries. A future person coming into their life. Who's a new person? New person coming into Aries' life. Five of Wands. Okay, could be some drama. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Clarify this Five of Wands. Page of Pentacles. They're going to be younger than you and you might not like that. They may not have as much money as you. You may not like that. This person may already have kids. You may not like that. Or vice versa. Aries is coming to a new person with kids already. Or, you know, Aries doesn't have as much as the new person. Or clarify this Page of Pentacles for the new person, please. Seven of Cups. What is up with this new person? They confusing. They coming with some internal conflict. They're young. Don't know how to communicate. May not have as much with the Seven of Cups. What is this? Clarify for the Seven of Cups. Okay. It gets better. This is... This is... <laughs> This is where the toughest give you the relationship a chance with the new person, I feel. Just because the work you got to put into it, but it's worth it. Because this Seven of Cups turned into the King of Cups. They know exactly what they want and who they want. So the Seven of Cups turns into the King of Cups. And then this Page of Pentacles definitely turns into the King of Pentacles. So this one is going to, this you're going to grow with this person. You're going to definitely grow with this person. A lot of lessons. Forgiving and learning. Yeah, this is what this is. Forgiving and learning. Releasing and healing the past. You guys are going to really grow and mature together. Become two, you know, become completely different people together. Okay? And express your love. King of Cups. Wow. It may be a lot more. It may be a little more work, but this one is the most beautiful. I, I can just feel the energy. Okay, any advice for this new person coming into Aries' life? Okay, any advice for this new person coming into Aries' life? We have 88. This person could be a Leo, or this person could have been born in 88. You could have been born in 88. We have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is telling me work on, work on your partnership and don't be so emotionally distant. So, you both probably are, you know, very independent. You're together, but emotionally, you could do some work, you know, on the connection. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So, 8-8 eight, eight could be important. August 8th. That's actually my birthday. August 8th. <laughs> okay, we do have the Nine of Cups. This person is definitely wish fulfillment. Any other advice? About this new person when they come into Aries life. Any advice for Aries about this new person? Okay. Make sure you don't get in uh, superficial connections with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Okay. We do have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So, the, the Page of Cups, he's young or she's young. Gotta, gotta learn, you know with the page of cups the page of cups doesn't just come into this world already knowing everything you gotta grow okay and build gotta grow gotta build but this is very beautiful i see kids you can have two kids from this person the page of pentacles and then the page of cups i see a family here so the advice is don't get in superficial relationships if you want something long lasting then work on it Give the relationship a chance. Express your love. You know, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Sometimes Aries aren't as romantic or open. But you both will be forgiven and learning and growing together and maturing together. All right. Any other messages for Aries? I'm pulling from my deck. These messages um, are for anyone that I, I may not have picked up on. Um... Anything that may not have resonated with you so far, i am pulled from my deck. These messages um, could have already happened, could be happening now, or could possibly happen in the near future and um, give you confirmation or maybe a warning. So 
Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In love. June 2021. Ooh. Okay. From my deck, it says evil eye. So protect yourself from people giving you the evil eye. Go ahead and get some charms and protection from that. Somebody could have tried giving you the evil eye in the past. Somebody could have tried giving you the evil eye currently. Somebody could try giving you the evil eye in the future. It says, I'm working on myself so I can give you what you deserve. You could be dealing with a cancer. This person is working on themselves so they can give you what you deserve. This could be the person from the past, your current person, or your future person. Okay? Divine protection. You have divine protection. So anyone trying to give you the evil eye, you're already divinely protected. Okay? Will you give me another chance? You could be dealing with the Virgo. The Hermit did come out, but somebody wants another chance. You could have Virgo in your chart, or your person could have Virgo in their chart, or just behaving like a Virgo. I'm in love with you. So someone is in love with you, has been in love with you, will be in love with you. I leave you alone because I know it's not right to string you along. So somebody has been in and out. It hurts them to be in and out. They don't want to be in and out. So they decide to leave you alone because they know it's not right to string you along. They know it's not. This is why they leave you alone. And then someone says, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone says, I know I messed up. So someone knows. They know they messed up. Someone uses sex as a tool or a weapon. Someone could have used sex as a tool or weapon. And be careful that no one tries using sex as a tool or weapon on you. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. I manifested you, but when you came, I got scared and ran away. Someone manifested you, but when you actually came, they got scared and ran away. And they're sorry for that, and they want to give this relationship a chance. Give me one more. I lied because I knew the truth might hurt you. So someone lied to you. You may know this. I'm telling you this now. Someone lied to you because they knew the truth might hurt you. They were trying to protect you, but a lie is still a lie. Okay, could have been they lied about being married. You could be married to this person. Okay. Um, of course, oh, here it is. I'm going to pull some messages from this deck because I want to see what you need to release, what you need to let go of, what you need to surrender to, or what you need to start doing or accept to bring love into your life and to keep love into your life. Thank you for giving me a message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regard to their love life. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Aries. You could be dealing with a Libra. Purpose. I know that I know what I'm here to do. So in order to bring love into your life and to keep love into your life, you have to know what you are here to do and work family, friends, relationships, lovers, know what you're here to do. You know, what is your purpose? Always know your purpose and stay focused. Don't lose focus. It's okay to have fun, but don't lose focus. It's okay to be in love, but don't lose focus. Remember your purpose. Or remember, what is the purpose of this? What's the purpose of this relationship? What's the purpose of this job? What's the purpose of these feelings or me feeling this way? Okay. Any other messages? I need to see because I feel like I'm missing something. 
I'm gonna have to get used to premium, y'all, because I'm tired of these commercials. So I'm gonna pull some possible outcomes for past, present, and future. Well, I'm actually only gonna pull possible outcomes for past and future. What's the what's the possible outcome for Aries in this past person, please? Ooh, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, you guys are making peace. At the end of the day, you will make peace. Whether y'all reconcile, get back together, or just, you know, decide to say, you know, give your apologies. You're clearing the air. So this is good. This is good. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It's going to be a lot more peaceful. Forgiving and learning. This is what the Sagittarius card is. Okay, what's the possible outcome with the future person? What's the possible outcome with the future person? Aries and their future person. Ooh. <laughs> wow, the Ace of Cups. Pregnancy, marriage, a baby, moving in together. Complete happiness. This is new love anyway, Ace of Cups. So I'm, I don't really see love with the past person, but I do see healing. So maybe this, this healing is exactly what you need to move on and receive this new love. Take this how it resonates, okay? Um, give me one card for singles, please. Give me one message for singles. Single Aries. Ace of Swords. I don't know why I see a big, long Peter Wacker. So, hey, some truth is coming. But I also see that, uh, that male part as well. I don't know why I see that. Okay. What has been going on? So, some of you... Now, listen... So, when you have this S-E-X or whatever, whatever, I feel like something is going to be unblocked for you or unlocked for you, and you're going to, like, maybe it's your sacral chakra that's blocked, and this is, you know, after you get that thing waxed, you get some clarity. This is maybe for one person, but, okay, singles, a lot of truth, a lot of clarity is coming towards you to help you move forward in your dating life, help you move forward in your single life, help you move forward in your life in general. Okay, I'm going to pull a random message for you. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a random message for Aries. This could resonate in your love life or any area of your life. Give me a message for Aries, please, for June 2021. You got two of them. It says self-employment. So some of you are going to be self-employed. Beautiful card. And then it says welcome the new. So welcome the new, this new employment. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. So welcome in the new, whatever it could be. It could be a baby with this Ace of Cups. Welcome in the new, this new love. Welcome in the new, this new higher level of knowledge, forgiving and learning. Okay. Welcome in the new, new giving your relationship a chance, new expressing love. Okay. Here's new as well. You got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So, and self-employment. To end this reading, I want to see how this person feels about you or what they like most about you. What does this person like most about Aries, please? What does this person like most about Aries? What does this person like most about Aries? This person is whoever is on your mind. If it's the past person, present person, or new person. What does this person like most about Aries, please? You better recognize when I see you. I really want you, you, you. Hit the club for you, you, you. Okay? That recognition. What they like most about you is the recognition that you give them and the effort that they put in. The recognition you give them and they're not the only one who feels this strong connection. You recognize it as well. Recognition of, you know, 
I recognize everything that I've done wrong, and I want to say sorry for that. You you give recognition, and they they love that about you. Okay. <sighs> I love you, Aries. This is all I have for you. Check the description box, and I'll see you for your next reading. Bye-bye.